And so this man, he told his sons, when I die, cremate my body and then throw my ashes in the wind because if God ever gets a hold of me, he's going to punish me with a punishment that he has never given anyone else before. His children, they fulfilled his request. They cremated the body. They threw the ashes in the wind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the earth, gather what is in you of his ashes. And the earth gathered all of his ashes together until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought this man back to life. And then Allah asked him, what made you cremate your body and then command your sons to throw your ashes in the wind? And the man, he turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, I was afraid of you. I was in fear of you that you wouldn't forgive me. And so he was forgiven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was too shy to him and not forgive him. SubhanAllah. Allah forgave him because to not forgive him after he did all of this would mean that the fear of God had no value. Not only that, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. Allah had to forgive him because to not forgive him would mean that all of the fear that this man had of God was inconsequential. These are the extremes that a person with a broken spirit resorts to when he believes or she believes that they're not going to be forgiven.